Hi everybody, a lot of you have asked me what my favourite yoga props are and so this is a little video to explain that. It's actually pretty simple. Number one, you all know that I love a chair, a yoga chair, an essential and most yoga chairs are pretty much the same as far as I can see. There are shifts in terms of, this is what's called a, a normal chair and then there's what's called a tall chair. So actually this chair is too small for me. I need to get a tall chair. I just haven't gotten around to it because of COVID and finding one is not that easy at the moment. You can also make your own chair. You can go to like a Costco's and buy a folding chair and there'll be a back in it. And you just have to find a way to get the back pulled out, file down the metal bits that would be painful, and then get duct tape and wrap the duct tape all around the back of the chair railing. I have six chairs like that and I love them. They're fantastic. Okay, onto blocks. You need two blocks. And if I could only have two blocks, they would be cork blocks. They are firm, stable, not too heavy. If ever you're using one block on top of the other in a diagonal, they don't slip. And many companies make them. I've had this for over, over 10 years, and these are made by Huckabuck. But I know that lots and lots of other companies make them. Now, if I could have two other blocks, like the wish list block list, then I would go for these, these slightly bigger, foam ones, but not that squishy foam, foam, which is terrible. This is firm foam. So it really gives support. It's great for different poses, muddy chest nap threes, all kinds of other things where you want maybe a little more lift. It's also good if you're taller, like because it just has that extra lift. And these are made by Manduka, but I know that lots of people are making these kind of good firm foam blocks straps you need two straps so if i could only have two straps they would be these straps and they are the classic iangar straps that i bought at an iangar center a long time ago they're really nice cotton easy to wash the buckle never breaks down on you at least mine have never and it slides in and out really easily which is obviously beneficial and the long version is really the right size important to have two long straps. When it comes to bolsters, beware of the size. There are short bolsters and long bolsters. Get a long bolster or at some point it's gonna end up being annoying. Also, the bolster is ideal to have cotton batting or fabric inside rather than the kind of buckwheat brain story which tends to overfill on one side you know, constantly trying to even it out. So cotton inside, long. Now, if you are a shorter build, you may wish to get one of those slightly flatter bolsters, because this is quite chunky for the lower back, and I'm quite it works for me, but equipment does have to be personalized with time as you practice. And let's see, what else? Blankets. These blankets were given to me by a student many years ago and they're still here and they still look brand new and they've been washed many times. So I stuck with these blankets even though they're not 100% natural. I like them because they are thick and chunky so they give good support. They do not shed onto your yoga clothes all around the room and give allergies. And they come in many colors. I'll put the link to them below. And they just serve me so well that I think I'll be around, God willing, um, until, I, until I pass over. So these are my favorite yoga blankets. And let's see, mat. Well, there are just a myriad of mats out there. And if I could only have one mat, it would be this. And I can't find it anymore. It's a company called Casal, C-A-S-A-L-L. -L, and they don't seem to make this mat anymore. I love it because it's super lightweight. It never, ever, ever slips. Looks porous, but it's not. And so even though it's on an eco mat, it's pretty much indestructible. I, I know I'm gonna have this for many years to come. And that's really what I like, a mat that I don't have to replace all the time. So there we go, I think I've covered it. Uh, one last thing that's nice to have is this bandage. It's a pharmacy bandage from India, used for sprains, etc. 
and it has that elastic bandage thing, which is great. So this is wonderful over the eyes and the ears and Tavasa, or you can unroll it and wrap it so that it covers the eyes and the ears. You don't want to do it too tight, obviously, and that's used in supine pranayama, medical classes, headaches, all kinds of things. It's just a, a really nice thing to have, as well as that gets me thinking, the sandbag. The sandbag is wonderful. I don't use it much in the classes that I film because I feel like not many people have a sandbag, so I don't want people to feel frustrated, but I really advise getting two sandbags. You just get the bag, obviously, and then you'll fill it up with whatever you want. And you put them on your front thighs, it's with Davidasan, many places and many ways to work with them. And they have this handle, and so they can even go on your feet in Shishasan. And anyway, sandbags are exciting. So there are my props. If you have props that you really love and you recommend, please do leave the links to them below. I'm sure that people will really appreciate that. And I hope this has been helpful. Take care. See you on the mat. Namaste.